This week's sponsors are Adapt Scaffolding Limited. For all your scaffolding, commercial and domestic needs throughout Merseyside and the North West, get in touch with Brian McElhinney or Dave Moorcraft. All the details will be in the description. Please give them a follow. Thank you. Hello everybody and welcome to the Billy Moore Podcast and today's special guest is Frankie and with us today is my co-host Darren Schmidt. It's always good to have Frankie back. We had him on a few weeks ago and um, weeks we so. felt that we gelled. So how are you feeling Frank? How's things? Feeling great and uh, as we all know the video that the three of us done a couple of weeks ago, three weeks or whatever it was, it's uh, it's really doing well. It's, it's kind of blowing up even the clips that have gone out um, are getting thousands of views. So just before we start... Um, don't call me Frankie today. My name is Paul McCartney. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ringo, and this is uh, John Lennon. Here. Fucking hell, I'm, I'm fucked on John there every time. <laughs> Happy John. <laughs> so what yeah. we've done, what we've done, I've decided, uh, myself and Adam, uh, to collaborate with yourself and, and talk about what's what's in the news this week. Shut yeah. A bit of light-hearted comedy. Yeah, because, you know, I've seen other podcasts, right? And they're very serious, aren't they? And they're supposed to be funny, you know, People are joking, oh, we drank a bottle of um, sangria while to tweet table when we got bladded <laughs> in the magnet, and they're just not us lads, are they? No, no, the no. lads don't talk like about You've got to be down to earth to the, to the real world. The sangria, fucking swerve that. I mean, the news, this Afghan- Afghanistan thing, fucking hell, I mean, there was a thing, a fella uh, was on a telly and he was saying the shootings and... Yeah, like you're burying us already it's supposed to be comedy and he said uh, <laughs> no no he, 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 he said people being slaughtered he said you know what yeah, he said heavy, lad. I don't know why we came to eat and he said we should have stayed, <laughs> stayed in Kabul we should have stayed in Kabul so we're all, we're all about topics and that so what topics do you think we should bring up well do you know what the Olympics has just finished and I'm not fucking happy about it lad you know some of the new events yeah. and let's, let's start off with what the is? transgender what's his name Lauren what Hubbard Lauren, Lauren Hubbard. Hubbard lad he was fucking uglier than me yeah, well. right now I'm not snagging off about gays or for uh, the LBG crowd get on me and all and I'm fucking getting leg down fucking where there's a Victoria Street with a gay fly flag <laughs> fucking legging along. I'm not getting on at them. I'm just saying, right, it's not that I don't like gays. I'm just saying. I'm fucking digging a hole here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just saying, right, I didn't agree with him coming out as a fucking woman. You didn't agree with him competing? Yeah. And because, basically, he was a man. He was a man. He's got so, leverages, hasn't it, he? You it's know unfair I mean? to the women and the, the women. You know, it's, it, it's a... You can't... Can you change your sex? Obviously, people do, but... For competition, he's got a man's body. He did, so and he was it's, a it's fucking ugly unfair, man. Yeah. Frankie was a fucking but he, ugly did he man. Never got any, he never won no, did he? He couldn't lift the fucking Olympic no. bar off the fucking the, the floor. He was fucking so shy. at least that's a little bit of a... You I, know. I think it was him. Um, I think that was heavily criticised in, in the media and on social media and on yeah. all platforms with um, people talking about say, how unfair it was. And I mean, I remember listening to something Joe Rogan uh, shared a couple of years ago regarding the same... Yeah. The same uh, the same guy, uh, well, gal, shall we say now. It's, yeah. it's, uh, it's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult, well, to, to, it's difficult to, to separate it. So I'm going to, yeah. yeah, so yeah, but it is. He because, could have thrown a bit of makeup on. He could well, have, yeah. Could he he could have, yeah. you know, he didn't yeah. make What's the effort. Reckon? I didn't, I seen him. Bit of bingo lippy. Lads, he could have thrown a bit of bingo yeah. lippy, bit of blushing on, bit of mazzy. And, you know, probably with a few bevies, I might have fucking bummed him, Billy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm sure over I it. took him home from the draft, drafting <laughs> once. I did take him home. I've took him home many nights. I still kept going back for him. What's his name? Lauren Hubbard. Lauren. Well, I never saw his face. What was he, What did he look like? Oh, fucking ugly than me, the back lad. of the weight lift, what he? He was yeah. uglier than me, lad. Honest to God. Just me with a wig on. But he dropped, I sort of dropped the thing. Is, is it, maybe his bottle's gone with all the publicity. I think his arse went. But the yeah. New Zealand Prime Minister... Oh, she yeah. was right behind him. She Go said away. the country was behind him. Like, 
God. I doubt any of them fucking big Marios oh. will be Yeah, but do you think, no, do you think, do you think it's fair, right, seriously, do you think it's fair because, right, this guy, you know, his DNA is, 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 is male, so what yeah. he said, right, and I read about this, he's, yeah. he's got to have, like, estrogen within his body for four years, yeah. so if he's got, like, testosterone, like, once he's had these female hormones, they turn the, the testosterone into estrogen. Right, so for four years, does that mean that he becomes a weaker person? Yeah, we could become weaker, right, lads, because he's having the estrogen. But yeah. what I'm saying, what was unfair, he's got the leverages of a man. He's got the, the skeletal wrist, frame he? yeah, of a man, exactly, hasn't he? That's yeah. what he's got. So Which can never be altered. Woman, that never be altered. That over woman's unfair. Anyway, yeah. let's leg him. What yeah. about fucking um, some of the other stuff that was in there, some of the other um, events? Anything to say about Well, it. I was a little bit disappointed our own girl, Katharina yeah. Johnson-Thompson, you know, who's the world record holder yeah. anyway, you know, for uh, she was injured once she saw yeah, that was a little a bit, I mean, and the obviously, sprinter. you know, we're all kind of like uh, watching for, for, for uh, Britain, Great Britain, yeah. but, uh, you know, Scousers, we're looking out for a Scouser, aren't we, you yeah. know, so. Did he do walking in it? Yeah. BMX biking, yeah, was BMX that in it? Is walking in it. No idea. I didn't really watch oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah Walker. I think Walker's been no, in it since like the twenties and the sure thirties. Fast walking's in it. I had to be in shit out of that when I was younger. Yeah. Lad, you but told as you me. Say, there's climbing and everything yeah. in there. But if you told me years ago, right, yeah. that there was a dead moggy in the canal, <laughs> I'd walk for fucking miles, mate. My bowl in my hand, mate, and I'd just be trying to get a tie out. <laughs> All the fucking cat lovers will be screaming. <laughs> but the amount of category, you know, there's thousands now. Really. Yeah. A few years ago, it was kind of very narrow, wasn't it? But now there's, there's and they're bringing different things in. Like scaling a wall. Did you yeah. see that one? Yeah. How fast you can climb a wall. I knew a few fucking kids who used to get that lead off. I was thinking kid. about that on the way here this morning. Because I was like, I was pretty quick. Yeah. On, on, on the walls and that yeah. like growing up climbing on roofs some of you... Scallies would have been shit hot at some yeah. of the events well imagine know. if you had a thing for shoplifting or you, yeah, you know yeah. like an event <laughs> and you're going into a shop and you go here's the fella for the bootle and he <laughs> former silver medalist he's trying to get the gold now <laughs> yeah. yeah the fella for Garston won the gold last year <laughs> and well, he's like oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, that would have been good. But the BMX, what the fucking hell is BMX and in it, mate? And we got a gold. And I'll wheelie, really, I really, I'd could have been all right yeah. on that. But any other fucking grifter stuck in their gear, mate. Remember them? Yeah, yeah, grifters. Yeah. Summer Orcs, yeah. you remember them? And a Budgie. Orcs, yeah. And then the bigger one. What was the bigger one? There was Summer Orc. There was Budgie. Summer Orc. Chopper, lad. Chopper. chopper. Lad, I got a chopper when every cunt had a BMX. And you know what Fuck the older kids do? <laughs> right, me, my, my, I used to say, it had no take. No take, he's okay. given on the back, didn't he? Yeah. And he fucking robbed it on me, Bill, uh, and he fucking piled it. I with Bommy Wood. Lad, uh, them things would take anything weight wise, wouldn't he? They're like fucking the Volkswagens of yeah. bi- bikes back then, yeah, weren't I used to go over the BMX course on the chopper. That's fucking <laughs> shite, mate. Oh, fucking you look, he had a BMX, BMX mate. I didn't. I had a oh, chopper. Oh, chopper? Yeah, yeah, I didn't. I, chopper, I had a most, of these, most of these young viewers won't know what a chopper is. Yeah. Yeah. A what a, B- yeah, what a BMX. Bike. It was well, BMX. They are all about biking, it's chopper, mate. Yeah. yeah. I had my first one was a budgie. Did that have rubber wheels or budgie? A budgie. Didn't it? Yeah, the rubber, rubber wheels. Rubber wheels. Wow, wow, you never heard of a budgie, no. lad? What is it? A, like a like a funny bike? Yeah, it's a small bike. You had a fucking penny fast. Ah! <laughs> <You're like, laughs> Frankie's the oldest out of all of us. Frankie had a penny farden. That's right. Robin Reliance and that, that was his first car. Well, what else has been in the news? Did you see yesterday? I said to you this morning, didn't he? Prince Charles and Lady Diana, Lady Diana, can't even fucking say it. They had a cobber wedding cake. Uh, and it got auctioned yesterday, right? Uh, of some old maid, and she got two and a half quid on it. Go away. For a piece mate, of cake. It's fucking That stupid. must be throw about 40 years old. Throw the story up. Well, yeah, I, I will do. She put it in an auction, and it got two and a she half She kept grand. the cake. She kept the she cake. She must have preserved it somehow. No, it was in this fucking brandy. Yeah. Right. Go away. And with these fucking currants in or something. Uh, they all got given it. They only give them to some of the staff they like, Frank, yeah. not everyone. Fucking hell. And she got it, and she auctioned it off yesterday. Yeah. At that auction, he is in London, whatever it's called, the big one, and she got two and a half quid on it, mate. Christie's. Now you tell that, yeah. me who bought that. Okay. 
Who's yeah. bidding for why that? Why would you want why that? Why would you want it? Sitting looking at a piece of cake. Even it could have been in Tenerife, <laughs> all inclusive. <laughs> all inclusive. Like that. Lying on the beach. Like staring at your cake like that. Yeah. Oh, but imagine that your bird comes in and goes, uh, are we still all right for a week, Monday? Tenerife. And you go, <laughs> 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 got a lovely bit of cake. What <laughs> the <laughs> fuck's that? <laughs> but it won't lure yeah. it. To. Went out and went, um, what is it, Sudderbees in it? 1800 fucking hell mate with a seven and I've got this that's all I've got in my ass pocket I'll go to I'll go to two and a half here to get this bit of cake and he got it he must have gone home and just fucking wanked in the oh. cake <laughs> what, the, what, what would you want a bit of cake what about that other story you were talking about what one the, uh, the Michael Jackson which oh, one man. oh Michael Jackson what was it I can't remember the ghost the ghost Oh, the woman who married the ghost of Michael. The one who, woman's that? married See, the ghost. See, some stories that you're yeah. going to get in the news, right? And we right. just Google them, do yeah. The oh, woman, yeah. right, who, who, who married the ghost of Michael Jackson. You're kidding right. me. No, serious. Is that newsworthy ghost. stuff? How well, does that happen? Do you think, do you think uh, the ghost put the willies up? <laughs> <laughs> well, he would have been devoured anyway. We're a fucking kid. <laughs> What's it? You got him here? Fucking hell. Come on, let's talk about Michael Jackson here. Oh, let's move on. Was he on or was he off? Well, We're look, not going to get sued off the Jackson 5. Look, the but all of, right, Frank. Fucking the end hell. Of the day, TT Scouts is in a Bondi and Sue was like. Never convicted on anything, was he? He was never convicted. So I'm not being funny, yeah. but it was one of your family that go, well, hang on a minute, you know. I don't know, But at the Frank. same time, as that many kids came up, there must have been something. Dad, he was having fucking. He was, all right, what about, he was what about Jimmy, Jesus, Jimmy Savile? He was never convicted, wasn't he? He was no, never he was convicted. Dead. Oh, after he was dead, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. But he was convicted. Yeah, he he was convicted after he was, after he was sort of dead, wasn't he? Right, yeah. I wanted to go on that, mate. Which? I told you that Jimmy Savile. All I wanted to do, you know, when you were a scruff yeah, yeah. on a Friday, you just wanted to fucking bottle a lemo, didn't you? Off the lemo, yeah, man. Yeah. And it'd be roasting. You'd be sitting there with your mate in the summer roasting. You think, oh, God, oh, mate, I'd love to swim in a swimming pool, a fucking lemonade. You make up. I didn't see Jimmy Savile. <laughs> fucking hell, mate. Imagine. I, thought, I was a simple kid. I didn't want to swim in lemon, mate. <laughs> oh, the, the yeah, we'll fix it. Well, I've got a mate of mine. I won't mention his name. And he used to work at the doors. You know him anyway. Yeah. Uh, Lola's first name is. Hmm. But he went on. Um, Jim will fix it. Scoring a goal for Liverpool. Scouts, was he? Yeah, no, yeah. scoring a goal for Liverpool. He was only a kid, you know. Yeah. I'd like to score a goal for Liverpool. Yeah. So they had him in Anfield and scoring a penalty, you know, just before yeah. the match filmed it and all. And it was great. But. To Jimmy Gallagher. We don't know, we don't know, do you? To I mean, Jim. people, but we that all know in here have claimed the Savile, you know, how to go with him. Fucking Savile, mate. Did you know, you used to look at him and then paint trackies with a cigar and you'd think, is he a nonce or is he just round the bend? Yeah. When you'd look at fucking Jimmy Savile, you know what I mean? What do you well, think? I remember, he used to have a radio show and I remember when I was a kid being in my grandmother's and I was only like 11 or 12 and he was on the radio and he'd be interviewing this young girl and he says to her, how come you're sitting on my knee? Oh. And even then I thought, that's a bit heavy, yeah. that, you know. Yeah. And a few little things he said, obviously it's all blown up now, but he, he's not here to defend himself, is he? Who gives a fuck, though? He's done it, didn't <laughs> he? Okay. Yeah. the fucking bastard. <laughs> bear, yeah. I don't know. He's done... Yeah. Man, lad, he's... Oh, lad, he was a non-sim, <laughs> Frank. You could yeah. see that just looking at but the But people said they made... dead bodies and all that, you know, and... He was into and all that, wasn't he? You know, yeah. supposed to be. It goes on know. and on. There's, there's something, there's something, something there's something. Talk's cheap, innit? Yeah. There's, there's something dark well, going on. quickly got away there from Michael Jacko. I'm not letting you get away that quick, mate. Who's Jacko? Yeah. What about the Jesus juice, lad? Giving kids Jesus juice and all that. What was that? Jesus he was, well, he was on the second trial, he was, he was given, supposed to allegedly, giving a get kids wine, getting them drunk and all that, you know. Yeah. And then, like... Dropping fucking all fucking water blooms off the veranda with fucking Macaulay Culkin. What was that all about, lad? No, no, Macaulay Culkin. He was definitely messed He's up. Still alive. Like, he might get sued off him, Billy. Really, no. Home alone, mate. <laughs> we'll keep him out of it, you know what I mean? Well, let's, fucking Kent to live let's, let's, let's talk about loyalties, guys, right? because I know that you talk about trust issues and loyalties, and there was a story that you told me this morning. And it I'll was tell you that, that many, I fucking forget, Billy. It was, it was, it was about the cockley kid in my bear. Oh, with him. him, yeah, it's fucking... So see if you can identify with this, because we all love our yeah. stories, and we all know that, you know, when you tell them that we can, uh, we get know, a rise out of them. I don't think it's really a funny fucking story. Well, it was, it's just it, a story, isn't it? What it was is, when I first went to Marbella to work, yeah. I'm in the gym, and I didn't have many clients. So the way I am, I'm used to talking to people all the time, the lads and having a laugh and that, right? So these were all miserable cunts in this gym. So I'd only been there, started training me mates and a few of the mates in the morning, and then... 
I'm starting to let on to everyone. Everyone's letting on. No one spoke to each other till I went there. Next minute, everyone's laughing and joking. <laughs> I'm laughing so right. late. I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> tell you this. Fat cat, you like? I'm thinking about that Perry Fard and thinking you've got something. I was. I ain't done about the age in there. Oh, I get it all the time. Of the young kids in here. Fat cat. So I was watching my colour song fucking with this kid. Anyway, training this kid, and this kid keeps looking at me over the other side of the gym, and I just went, "All right, mate, you're all right." And he went, "Yeah, all right." And I went, "All right, lads." And I just got off. So anyway, the other cafe in the gym, he comes over to me about an hour or so later and I'm having a meeting he went mind if I sit here and yeah. I went no go ahead lad sit down sit down he goes dead light spoken you know what I mean and he went um, um, are you Scouser so I went yeah so he goes oh I love Scousers my birds are Scouser too so I said oh well, alright lad sound mate yeah. sound he goes I'm a DJ here so the bragging starts coming oh, out yeah. you're in my bear everyone loves big time yeah. yeah so he's gone yeah I usually get £3,000 a night in um, oh, Ocean one, yeah I thought, lad, I don't even know your fucking name, lad. And yeah. You're throwing three quids at me. I've got yeah. no arse in me, gags, lad. Yeah. So he's talking anyway, so he goes in. So you're a trainer here? So I said, yeah. So he goes, you're after any more clients? I mean, bearing the kids hadn't come over. I went yeah. over on my own face. So I said, yeah, yeah lad, I weren't doing that well. You know, I'd only been there about a month yeah. establishing myself. And he goes, I can get you some, some clients from the port. I can get you them. So I said, now everyone knows in the port, if they're from the port, they're all like them Russian fucking billionaires and millionaires, yeah. you know what I mean? So I said, um, well, all right, lads, I'll sign. He goes, you got a Spanish number? I went, no, lads, I've got me mobile. He'll just try to have to try 044 be funny. Darren, you need a Spanish number, mate. Oh, if one, you yeah. go and get a Spanish phone now, he said, I'll have you clients by the morning. I went, fucking hell, mate. I only had 500 fucking oh, quid. Hell. Or I was coming home. Let's go and buy a blower. Yeah. So he goes out, buys a blower, lad. I was sweating. Gets back, gets the blower, gets him to it. I went, yeah, lad, yeah. So he goes, yeah, I'll take your number. I'll ring you. He goes, at 5 p.m. He said, and I'll let you speak to the clients. Listen, charge them anything you want, mate, mate. Anything you want. I went, fucking hell, he's fucking sound. Flings me, missus. I said, I'm fucking flying. <laughs> I said, they've got these clients from the port. I think I've got a couple of fucking Russians here, mate. Millionaires and all that. Some people like, oh my god, you've smashed it. Well, they were packing. Them. <laughs> I went over on my own, right? She goes, oh god, you smashed it. Well done and all that. I'm saying, yeah, I fucking smashed it. Yeah, these millionaires. Anyway, five o'clock comes and I've got the mobile there, lads, and I'm just fucking staring at the fucker. Ring your bastard, ring. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck all. Go away. Nothing. Got to half five. I'm sweating now. Need to piss. I think. <laughs> Take the bastard with me. Brought it with me. Had it in my hands. I'm having a fucking piss. Nothing, mate. Get to your bar half seven, and you know the way you just go. You've had it yourself, Frank. Yeah, let Hill, down, you know? let down. People chance yeah. you know. Oh, you fucking bastard, mate. Told every fucking cunt here. Told all the lads who, yeah. who was saying, "Hey, fucking, a couple of Russians here coming up to train with me and all that, flying me, no throwing the fucking butty on like." So anyway, I went half seven. Coming, I went fuck this. The cunt. I said, "I'm going for a walk. I'll go to the supermarket get some scrap." So I walks down. Next minute, fucking big car pulls on the side big rangy Darren oh mate I've just seen the clients in the port he goes Darren they're gonna love you they're gonna love you mate I've oh, got you about five alright speak to you in the morning ten o'clock alright I went fuck him hell alright lad I'll see you later mate nice one kid and all that <laughs> fucking hell gets in the gym at bar seven seems a few people he comes in mm. fucking blanks me mate what? blanks me lad so I'm like Fuck off, not now. And then I thought, I'm not going over to you, fucking cunt. And start going on it. All oh, right, like, what about them fellas from the park? Because you just look at fucking dumb. Yeah. And I thought, I'm not doing that. So we're just fucking blanks him. So every week, I'm saying to my mate, he's in the gym. Never, ever let on to me again. And I'm like, see that cunt there to everyone. He's full of shit. Don't talk to him, mate. Just for, no wonder no one spoke to you in here. You're full of shit. About a week later, I'm walking down with me mate and we're walking his dog along the prom next minute of the season he bangs on the window Darren Darren I need to speak to you I need to speak to you oh, thought, what the I fuck thought we does... haven't seen you no he's seen me every day for a week and just blanked me so he's like down on this restaurant with Darren come in I need to speak to you I thought oh fucking hell is the clients mate here's the Russians mate <laughs> <laughs> ready to train these Russians walks anyway Darren look at my dog 
kidding nah, you lads just walk <laughs> back out but that's how people were oh, I took hell. people in that Marbella when I worked there yeah. like us if I say I'm going to do something for you yeah. lad I'll do it you must have had that way people have promised you gigs or f- shit like and I had a yeah. similar thing it must be about 20 years ago when I was in a club in St. Helens and uh, Clock Face Labour Club was in this club I used to call in there because I always used to do shows in there always done well and I was a fella at the bar with a suit on, a shirt and tie. And I was just having a drink at the bar. And he came over and he went, uh, and he was like a Lancashire fella, like St. Helens, you know. And one of the lads had told me he had a bar in Greece. Yeah. So he comes over, he goes, hi, Frank. He says, uh, very good. I just saw your show there. He said, excellent. Um... I've got seven bars in Corfu. <laughs> uh, I can put you in an apartment. Um, I mean, you'd be a sensation over there. I don't even want you on for 20 minutes a night before the DJ. He said, the place, I said, and you know, at the time I said, any birds there? He said, birds, Frankie. You've never <laughs> seen anything like it in your life. And you on the stage. And I said... And I was up struggling and I had no money, you know. I said, what can you do? He said, Frankie, look, I own a restaurant next door. Go in there for your breakfast every morning. Go for any meals that you want. I'll give you the apartment. Would you do it for a grand a week? I went, oh, oh, couldn't breathe. Blown away. And I went, oh, yeah, that, oh, that's great. Uh, Okay, right, let me set it up. All that, you know. <laughs> so I'm telling everyone. Oh, you can't help it. Oh, you can't, can't help you it. Can't, I can't give me you mates. Piss. Anyway, even fellas that didn't like yeah. it, you know what I mean? <laughs> I've done that before. I don't like, like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to, got this thing of called food, big, th- and all that one, and everything. Like, and I'm like, I'm, I'm going to, it was a travel agency there, there was no internet. Have you got any books? Oh my God, look at this. And, all. and I was losing weight. I was running. So I had to lose weight. It's supposed to be going in the June. This was yeah. the April. All up. So anyway, never heard from him. Never heard anything from him. And then one day, I had my sister. I was living in Kensington then just cleaning me flat. She lived in a flat above and I didn't like cleaning up. And I said, clean me flat, you know. Like. So anyway, but she's like slow down. So anyway, she goes, um, <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, what was that number? Now, hang on a minute. I said, what? <laughs> I, what? A fella <laughs> phoned you. He said he was in I went, <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> Something about saying he's working and he'll come over. He wanted and he'll send you. And I, I said, what did he say? He says, oh no, she went. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be careful. Could it be an animal? I went, what? <laughs> I said, no, with you. I was on the dole. I said, with you being on the dole. And that she said, it doesn't do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so the grease went right out I of the went, window. Oh, no. <laughs> What's your number? So i never seen that. Like, you know, the writing on it. Yeah. Like a three year old. Yeah. <laughs> and I looked, she was in the back of this book she wrote it on. So I said, what the fuck's that? Yeah. What number is that? I don't know, it was vacuuming. <laughs> I was, oh my God. Anyway, so I was trying to get the number for Corfu. You yeah. know, the international number and all that. I remember the fella's name and I'm phoning up and I'm getting through to like different bars and that's never ever rang back. Yeah, what a fucking call. Oh, it's yeah. not a worse, is sister. Because as you say, the funny bit, you start telling people you don't like. Yeah. And this Why fella that I didn't that? like yeah. saw me calling me and what you don't want to do. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right, Frankie, what happens to uh, Corfu, lads? I thought you were there. Big time in Corfu. <laughs> and I went, yeah, it's uh, something that like, ah, you know, uh, you'd be better sick and sort of little yeah. claw, you know, the pubs and that's your yeah. thingy, Frankie, but being blue. They don't want you. I'm oh, not a human, you know. But just a little bit of communication, yeah. you know. That's all it takes, doesn't it? Just a little bit of communication. But some people love just chatting shit, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, honestly. I've really had it see. myself, Frankie, and I think, remember, we was on a first podcast and you brought, I brought you, I said this to you this morning about, yeah. um, I was doing a little bit of security work, yeah. you know, during the lockdown. It was like, you know, me to an end, I've got a little baby on the way. Yeah. And uh, these two baldy kids come into this, 
this, this room that I was working in, I went, say, I said, what are you doing here? I was the security. I said, what are you doing here? He went, say, all right, mate, we're just there, uh, we'll, you know, shite manager. And I went, all right, yeah, it sounds. He went, see you, so he started getting to know who I was, lays a little bit about myself. Next thing, he's down in Waterstone, he's buying me book, comes back with his mates, oh, I'm a shyness, thinks I'm fucking the god, you know, the next thing, seen sliced bread and all that. Yeah. So I'm thinking, um, that's bad, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. All right, you know, you, you know, you, 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 it's nice to, to sign a few books, and it's it's quite uh, it's nice to be noticed and that. But he went a little bit overboard. He was going, "How much have you got on your accounts? You must be fucking out and all that." I mean, no, mate, said didn't really make any money. I wasn't shabby in the industry, and I got ripped off a little bit. But you know, it, what are you doing working here? I said, "Well, you know, it's a means to an end. You know, it's just got to pay the bills." He said, "How about me and you opening a gym right together?" Right, so, all right, yeah. So let me think about this. Let me process it. Let me see what you've got to say. So he says, send us your bank details. So I said, okay, here's my bank details. I thought, let's just test this one. Know what I mean? Next thing, he's free a few quid in. So I'm looking, I'm thinking, you know, it starts, he starts stroking your ego. You think, I was going to fuck a few quid this fella. Know what I mean? Your bank, it's just bing. So he just thrown dough in your bank for nothing. So he throws it in for nothing, right? So I think it's one of those where you've got a few quid, you've got to throw it in your account. Right, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of impressed that he's done this. The next episode, I'm, I'm telling me, Mrs. Get on this, this kid's through a few quid. I don't, I'll have to give him it back. I don't feel that it's the right thing. You know, it's, it's, it's the something not right. There's an agenda and all that. So he said to me, yeah, mate, you can have this back, you know, I don't want it. And he went, no, it's a gift. It's a gift, mate. Not a and it's how a much gift. was it? It's only about a grand. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, you know, it's a grand's a grand when you haven't got seven it. Seven ton this morning. He's done a bus. <laughs> <You're already. laughs> 300 quid. <laughs> About a grand. <laughs> so anyway, it was seven hundred quid. <laughs> yeah, I said seven. You was it seven? Yeah, yeah. seven. So you'd be a millionaire yeah. though if all yeah. these promises came yeah. true. Yeah. What people have offered you over yeah, the years. Yeah, of course. Yeah, fucking hell, mate. Even like as I say, we're talking earlier on about when I did Opportunity in Oxford in nineteen eighty-seven. I always say to everyone, I've won it. I never won it. But went on the show. Great, sixteen million people watched it. The first comedian picked to appear on the show. But Monkhau says we Frankie. This is true, that's yeah. honest to God. He said, you're going to be a no huge... Bosses, no bosses, no. No, you're a huge star. Yeah. So I was walking around as though I was Elvis. Yeah. Anyway, again, my sister, you won't believe this one, and this is true. It's, I've never seen me... I, uh, you had to phone up on the night. You had to phone up a phone box. I had all my family. I was there breaking my fingers, phoning up. The number was in the Radio Times. There was five acts that had been on. But my act was the same number as, every, same number as everybody else, but number four for me. See yeah. what I mean? He yeah, yeah, oh, so it went on yeah. a phone vote. Yeah. So anyway, I'm in town shopping. And I phoned my sister and the phone box was in my flat. I had the yeah. phone. So I said, uh... <laughs> I went, how's it going? She went, get home. <laughs> get home. I went, what? You better get home. I said, what? She said, someone's phone's up. I'm not telling you till you get here. I said, who's phoned me? So she put the phone down. I'm gone like that. Phone back. I said, Kay, who the fuck has phoned me? Tell me right now. <laughs> so she went. What was she thinking? Oh, no. I thought, oh, it was, I thought it was the BBC. Was yeah. going to be, I thought yeah, they yeah. said, you, you've uh, got to say you've won yeah. and come down to London and you've got your own show and all that. Yeah. So she went, it's the BBC. <laughs> I went, no. So I said, yeah. Next thing, I jumped in a taxi with the shares. I left the shares in the taxi. Where are you going, mate? Can he, said, Can he go any faster, mate? Up down the wheel like that. Run into the... T- she said, they've left a number. <sighs> so anyway, phone the number up. BBC, Frankie Allen. I said, yeah, uh, somebody's phoned for me. Just a minute, put you through and all that. I'm like, that. I was like, I went, well, get the brandy. We had the bottle of brandy. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, oh, please, God, please, God, this is your big break. <laughs> no, like that. Please, God. I said... Just get the brandy, because I had a little bit of brandy. Like that. She went, calm down. My, my, oh, no, I said, don't phone up for nothing. Don't phone up for nothing. So I thought, I was, hello, yeah, this is Frankie Allen. Yeah, uh, Frankie Allen, she, uh, in the dressing room, you left your shoes here. <laughs> you left your shoes here on Saturday. <laughs> I went. <laughs> <laughs> you bastards. <laughs> I went, I thought, you're a fucking joker. <laughs> I put the phone down. So then she was my sister going like that. Never, I went, never. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. But it, it's, it's, it's just horrible, isn't it? Horrible when you get let down like yeah. that. But I tell you another thing that I heard, they've lost the X Factor, haven't they? Yeah. That's finished now, haven't they? No I didn't mind the X Factor when it when all the shit ones used to come on. 
right? The first few years, remember, and you'd have a screen watching it. Yeah. And then that all finished. And then he only had like a few shit ones, didn't he? And then like most of the good ones, but you know what I hated most? I hated them cunts from Liverpool who come on it. Come on, mate. Why was everyone from Liverpool? No offence to the gays. But <laughs> gay. Right? Yeah. And it was, I love me now. <laughs> I'm a scouser, I'm from a council estate. You think, oh, you'll fucking batter you, you fuck. And not because they're gay. Yeah. Because they were just making cunts of us, weren't they? They were fucking crap as well. I th- yeah, I think every human, but everybody wants people That's to think they're doing better out, than what it? they're doing. <laughs> you know, we all want to think, you know, we're doing a little bit better. But some people are total yeah. Walter Mitties. Yeah. There was a mate of mine now, this fella's still working as a, a, a singer. A, well, yeah, and he, 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 he's like a singer comedian, and uh, I won't mention his name. And I was talking to him one night, and I, I said, How's it going? And he went, yeah, Great. He said, uh, I'm up at four tomorrow morning. I said, What for? First train to London. What for? I've got a meeting with Simon Carroll. Did he, yeah? Was I he in that case? Like, like, yeah, I said, Yeah. You're joking? No, no, Simon, Simon Carroll, meeting Simon. Um, something's gone on behind the scenes. I've already won the X Factor. It's a fix. <laughs> uh, he wants to see me staying with him at the weekend, and it's all blowing up. We've even had, um, he told me himself, he's had ABC in America on. They want me over there. I said, So when are you going? He said, I've Got to get up. He said, Four o'clock. The first train's 5 15. I said, Oh, great. You know, believed him completely, totally. Anyway, the next day, I don't know what it was, I had to go somewhere, I'm driving down West Derby Road. The next thing is, see this fella that was in the summer with a pair of shorts on, no shirt, on an old bike, with yeah. a pair of glasses. Like like the Japanese going into Singapore, the bike was all over the road. Uh. And I nearly crashed, it was, what the fuck, there he is. Wasn't in London. <laughs> <laughs> on a bike in Tubrook. Yeah. And he didn't see me. And you know what? I didn't have the heart to, to fucking to say, say it you. We're Simon, you know. Yeah. Just why, let it go. Why do you think, right? Why do you think people tend to, um, tend to invent stories just to make themselves feel important? I think everybody wants to think of themselves. Yeah. You know, it's great, isn't it, when someone says to you, you know, or you hear something, somebody says to you, someone's always saying, how old's your dad? Yeah. And then you go, you're joking. I thought you was th- th- 30. Yeah. The next thing you're like that. <laughs> yeah. Gonna shave at night. We all love to compliments, don't we? Yeah. But people tell lies thinking that the more people believe it, in the end, they believe it themselves. Yeah. I mean, he called me Mr. Universe before, didn't he? Yeah. I said, like, don't throw a body on there, lad. Fucking Darby. I mean, but what you say, throw a body on there. I talking about a few years ago, yeah, yeah. you know. I mean, we were all different. We all look different. I was, I was like, me lad had a big head of hair on me and all that, but people don't believe it. Tony Kirk. But we've all, like, Tony yeah. Kirk. We've all, you know, changes, you get older. But there are a lot of people, and all these people, I know what, a mate of mine, and he's uh, all he talks about. I haven't seen him for years, and one of the reasons was he'd be out with him and he'd go on here. Bit of trouble last night. All right, you know, big hard case face, you know, what happened? I felt like that. I was just, took me bed out like that. And he went, so, so, so. And I felt like that to me, I went, bang, bang, bang. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> love throwing them all things, that, yeah. And, all, yeah. and he went down. Anyway, the next thing is, one of the gentlemen ran over and we saw it was me, went, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I See? Went, you know, all these crazy stories. Yeah. And it's all exaggerated <laughs> out of yeah. all proportion. Yeah, there's loads of that. Oh, that, mate, one, I had... that one where they say, yeah, uh, and I got a phone call, uh, that fell here it last night, he's not going to make it, you know. Yeah. You know what all that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> But why did he do it all? It's just, they're hoping that you, <laughs> that you believe it. Yeah. That somehow they're walking around at about six stone and all that, or like you have a goofy teeth, that you believe that but somehow they're a big hard case. Because mm. I don't like. Because you're gullible. Yeah. Well, I mean, naive. Gullible. Naive. When I was younger, I was gullible. Na- yeah. yeah, well, we all were, we? I mean, we, we can all yeah. still can be. You know, I had it, I had, you know, there's a lot of, when I was in jail, there was a lot, there was a kid there, and all he talked about was the millions he had. He talked himself, kid, he yeah. talked himself yeah. into a 15 <laughs> year sentence, right? Are you yeah. yeah, he talked <laughs> himself into a 15 year sentence. 
and he just burnt the satellites off you. Every time he would come out of his path, he'd talk about like, what he had, the money he had stashed, the swimming pools, the champagne. Like, he walks around with a pair of Al trainees on his pad stunk of fucking tuna, right? And, and he just, he, he, it was just like, why are you telling us all these mad stories? It gets to a point where he, he was, he was, he became Britain's most dangerous inmate, right? They, they started yeah. to blow out of proportion, right? No one's ever been to court like I've been to court. Lights are flashing, sirens are blaring. You know, there's busies all over the Crown Court. You know, have guns the law. There was shoppers above me. This is him going to court. I was in stripes. That's I was right, an E man, yeah. and I was thinking. Are you messing with? He said, you should have seen a body on me. It belongs in magazines. I was ripped to death. I, to, I was bangs up next door to him. And I swear, right, he just wrecked my fucking pineapple every single day with his little stories. Yeah. Because, you know, when you what happens is, right, when you, when, you, when you tell a story, if you don't remember it the next day, and you start putting like a bevy on it. Yeah. You with the fuck? Yeah, and you think you with the grand before, lad. Oh, the grand, yeah, I threw the seven. Yeah, yeah and I got I off. Where it was, I got offered to, to, to open a gym. The kids threw thousands of pounds into this, yeah. this gym. Right, and I'm believing everything's going well here. Well, I've got a gym. My name's in lights. It's all outside the Baltic Triangle. Billy Moore, Kane's gym. This, that, and the other. I thought, oh, I've made it here. Billy, you're a manager. You've got loads of. I've got, I've got all these uh, young youngsters now working for me. Thinking this is it, I'm living the dream of you know, you, you're one of those where you just pulls up outside the right place at the right time, and it happens for you. You think, Wow, oh, someone's recognized me, and a big a bit of acknowledgement. Uh, the kids were they get themselves into trouble. Oh, mate, this, say, they, they, they talking went, themselves yeah. into a long it, sentence. It, it's it's it, but the kid wanted me to show me car, and everything. Shell your car, Bill, right? I'm thinking, Show me car, yeah, again, yeah. I, shell your car, we'll get you a company car. I've only just bought this car, by the way. I was thinking, Okay, if I shell the car, get a company car, oh, I'm living the dream here. And someone just said, look, stop it. Don't put all your eggs in this basket. And, and, and I thought, yeah, all right, yeah, whatever. And it went, it, in the end, it went sits up. It went, the, the whole company that they had built up just smashed down. He owes all kinds of money out. I just walked away and thought, you know what, at least I never kind of handed anything over. But that's the kind yeah. of stuff where, where you can, right, get drawn into yeah. to, to, to the glittery things. And it's all shiny. But, you know, when, you, when you're thinking about your family, because it, it was never about self self censored needs it was more about like benefits for the future yeah so when it, you, you're thinking ahead for that way because i'm not really asked it was more about what can i provide my family yeah. but i don't want to give up what i've got because you're going to lose everything that you have see sadly it's all about scouts before this is the worst city in the world i'm not saying for grasses but for people just being a little bit kind of, <laughs> you know well yeah you know, yeah. for people being loose-lipped. Yeah. 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 And it, it, it's got to the state... Again, I was in Kensington. This was 1987. And I was on the corner talking to a couple of the lads. When it was in the summer, everyone used to walk out. And in Kenny, like New York, they put mattresses on the steps outside. It's fucking not like that. Like, it's yeah. like Mogadish, you know, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Fucking hell, mate. So they're all sitting, drinking cans. So anyway, I'm talking to this fellow on the corner. And this fellow walked past... I only knew him as Eddie and Blonde here. And they were all right, said. He kept to himself, you know. This fella said, oh, it's a fucking big bank robber him. I said, you joke? He said, no. Fucking hell, doesn't look like, does it? Never thought anything of it. What happened was, something happened where he robbed somewhere. Got away with it. Scot free. This fella said to me, he got away with it. Nobody knew. Police had, no, nobody had a clue what was going on. The next thing is, his bird is in the air, says. Now, this could only happen in Liverpool. So she's sitting there. She's got all these designer clothes on, getting her hair done. And this girl who didn't like her is doing the dance going, how's it going, dear? And she went, how's it going? <laughs> how's it going? It's going fucking great. Fantastic. <laughs> Get me into the Dominican Republic <laughs> in the morning. Five stars. She went, oh, yeah. She went, yeah. That was my fella. That was my fella. <laughs> <on> that thing. <laughs> See? Just and he's locked up. Yeah. Loose lips. Through, yeah. Bragging. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's ruthless in it. Went fucking yeah. deep. But talking you, you, about you, scousers, though, mate. Yeah. I hate them on holiday, lad. Mate. I remember going to Florida with yeah. some bird, right? And so we're sitting at the side of the pool. It was back in the 90s, you know what I mean? I'm sitting at the side of the pool. And I see these two and he gets in the pool. He has a fucking big lilac. Fuck off, big purple line, and he's fucking all over it. She's screaming, get off, get off. I think, oh, for fuck's sake, mate, I 
I'm just at the side. Next minute, they've got these two yanks, and she's got them in this. You know, they're in the pool together. And he goes here. She goes, tell him what our place is like. And he went, lad, it's a palace. <laughs> and she and he went. We've got like a Chesterfield lad. Right, Chesterfield lad. Chesterfield. He says, and we've got a staff. And the young guy, you've got a what? A Chesterfield? A, ch- a Chesterfield? Is that the make of the dog? He went, no, it's a staff, lads. We've got a staff on that. And I'm fucking sitting there and I thought, I just wanted to fucking duck him. You know what I mean? I was sitting there listening to him going on. And this, they, they, my see you later today, lads, for um, Bevy Town and the Barney. Yeah, can we maybe meet up for a couple of drinks later. You know, the yank, and I'm thinking, oh, the fucking stay away from that hotel bar with this fucking, he was dead loud, and so was she, you know what I mean? So a bit later on, I never opened my mouth, neither did the bear who we was with, and a bit later on, I get in the lift to go and get some ice downstairs, and he gets in the lift. Now, I could have been anyone, yeah. right? I could have been, and he went, all right, la, he went, do you know where the bifters are, la? <laughs> <laughs> I just felt like fucking slamming them, you know what I mean? Do you need to t- do so all like that, you know that. what I mean? And I went, the downstairs by the fucking ice machine. Oh, nice one, scouts and lads, scouts. And I just went, fuck off, turn in. It's like when I went to Mexico, yeah. and there's always black ones. And why did the black ones always have Liverpool tattoos on them? So the whittle, yeah. Yeah, and he was there, he was a fucking Jedi. Head, yeah. And he was there, and he, next minute he had the fucking, the muzzy and all that, and little... Fucking head banner on him, he's sitting there and he's going, Gallus, 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 you know, like that. You know, to the waiter, like that. Yes, and you're, Gallus, he lads, he lads, he lads. Carlos is coming over. Carlos can't fucking stand him. But with that, it, one of them dickheads, he always goes on holiday yeah. and he want to be mates with the staff. The staff fucking hate, yeah, they're just after the drops, yeah. So he's like that. So he's like, Gallus, Gallus, eh? Liverpool top on, candy, I think he had on at the time, lad. Candy top on, I'm looking at. So he comes over, Carlos, to me. He's got Carlos up the wall for fucking tea and toast and all that. It was all inclusive. <laughs> Carlos, we've got a man, Carlos, here, Carlos, stay chicken and jib, lad. Stay chicken and jib. <laughs> to punch you And I knew he was a Jedi by the accent. You know, and kind of Who knew me? You know, Carlos got, and you're like, oh, oh, lad, yeah, it wasn't even Carlos, it was Carlos. You know what I mean? So anyway, he fucking comes over to me, this fucking Carlos, fella, and I went to him, you like drinks in you? <laughs> I said, just get in, just get us a pot of tea, please, there, lad. And he goes, hey, hey, has gone to the scouts now. We have, have one. I said, tell him, lad. He's a fucking Jedi. He's a bacon head. I said, anyone who hasn't got an L in the postcode, you're not a scouter. That's right. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're not yeah. He wanted to see it. He wanted to be. We had another kid in here a while ago yeah. who wanted to be one. He was like, me man, me fucking man. Right, yeah. Lad, he was from Run no, They're not I'm scouters. Not scouters. Turn it in. When I was in Germany, my sister went to work in Beatrice Garden by the Austrian border and she got a job as a changing maid. A lot of Liverpool people went over there this from the end of the 80s. So she was there all year. So I flew out during the summer to see her. place was gorgeous. And it, the only way I could describe it, it was like from the sound of music. Yeah. Mountain, lovely mountains everywhere and the rivers and all that. And like, God, you could, you just, indescribable. So I'm staying in this hotel, like the Tyrol or something that's called, all wooden and that, you yeah. know. Fellas with leather kecks on, you know, all that one. <laughs> so I just went out no one day, had my breakfast, I'm going for a walk. <laughs> Beatrice Garden, it was called, but I, I knew there were scousers there. So walking down into the town a little bit, saw this fella walking towards me, I don't know what it was. Even from like 10 yards, I knew he was a scouser. Yeah, and I must look like a scout. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can't so he you can't. So he goes by the clobber and that can't. Yeah. He goes. Uh, he's walking up, and next thing he just stops and he goes, "All right." <laughs> <laughs> and I went, "Don't know why." I went, <laughs> "All right, lad." And he went, <laughs> "What's happening?" <laughs> <laughs> That's the shout. <laughs> <I went. laughs> And I just said, I'm just here to see my sister and all that. So he said, I'm just waiting for me mate. Anyway, so this other fellow come out. Never seen nothing. Come out like that. One of his eyes was up here, the other side. And he's going like that. And he looked at me. And I don't think he could even hear. So he went, all right. Like that. I said, all right, mate, what's happening? And he went, then the other fellow went, they haven't got a clue here. <laughs> yeah, they looked at us. They haven't got a clue here. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? He said, <laughs> he went from a jeweler's. Oh, no. I went, oh, no. 
Hän sanoi, että äkkiä sille kielellä, minä voin olla tämä, että en ole sitä, että olen ei voi saada. Sinä menet näin päähän, ja sanoi, että voin kanssa, että sinä ei voi laittaa. Ai sitä on noin, soin se. What are you doing now, Fra? So anyway, I, I was just having a little bevy over there. So I didn't want to be like horrible, you yeah, know, yeah. like that. So anyway, standing in this bar, like having a drink with them and all that, where are you from? And I felt a little bit uncomfortable with them and all that, you know. So the next thing is, uh, you went, say. The fellow went, we had murder in here the other night. <laughs> I said, what happened? He said, on the bar, they had, they had these cakes <laughs> and he had flags of different nations and, yeah. and the cake. So there's this German flag. <laughs> so he was, I went like that. The fellow was standing there and he went, oh, England, English Union Jack. I said, yeah. So I got his flag and I went like that. <laughs> <laughs> So I said, what did he do? He said, I thought he was got a kick off. Probably the fella done yeah. nothing, you know. <laughs> she said, Frankie, I must have with me head, you know. I went, right. <laughs> I said, listen, boys, I'll see you again, you know. Yeah. Just. <laughs> the the sandy but Yeah. Here's one. The I funny, heard. though, the funny. Yeah. <laughs> this is not a bar scouts, this is bar. Probably people giving you fucking promises anyway. So we was competing, me and me, mate, Nathan. Where he was a big star now, you know what I mean? He's been bodybuilding. But me and him were training together. And he won junior Mr. England, and I won the heavyweight Mr. England. And so, like, we were buzzing. So, anyway, we knew he was going to be brilliant from a kid, yeah. Nathan, right? So, this fella, lad, do you remember fucking Rainbow? Yeah. Right? Do you remember fucking Fred, the, Rod Jane and Freddie and that? Yeah. What was he called, the host a Rainbow? Do you remember? Roy North. Roy. Right. Well, he was dressed like him, this fella. Yeah. Big fucking green Pair of suit. Sungarees on yeah. him. No, no. A green suit. Remember, they used to dress in their pastel fucking yeah, green yeah, colours. Yeah. So he's got this green suit on and he comes off the stage and we're fucking buzzing the pair of us. Now, everyone knew he was going to be what he is now. Right? So he comes over to Nathan and he goes, I'd like to sponsor you. And at the time, it was, he had one of the biggest fucking supplement companies in the country selling yeah. all the proteins and all that and he's like yeah so Nathan comes over to me and he goes this fellow wants to sponsor me here to come over to come over with us and he wants to speak to me so I said all right took no fuck wasn't interested in me that do you know what I mean but he could see the potential in him right so I said all right I'll come over with you so he goes I want to sponsor you he said all your protein for free all your vitamins for free and I'll give you a wage every month so the kid was loyal to me, so he goes, Lori, so I'll let you sponsor me, and we both, we were both skin, if you sponsor him as well, so he went, he looked me, and he, he didn't even fucking watch me, you know what I mean, and he went, hmm, all right then, he said, he'll have to come to me office, he said, and it, he was just interested in him, yeah. he said, he'll have to come to me office, he said, Monday, I won't tell you where the office is because a lot of people will fucking get on with his lads, you know what I mean? Mm. I didn't know he was this type of fella. So he said, you'll have to get on to the office. He said, come up to the office, say Tuesday. So we went up to the office. We drove a couple of fucking, say 100 mile to this fucking office. When we got there, Nathan Diash, you're on the board. Darren Smith. I went, fucking hell, mate. You know, like the board, what, the meetings that mm. day. I went, fucking hell, we're flying here. <laughs> but I used to have this pro team man. He used to come round the gym and I'd always ask him to sponsor me. Andy, his name was. He was a fucking minge. I will leave back and I'd go, Andy, there's a fucking few proteins there, you fucking minge. No, Darren, I'm not giving you out. No, you're not getting out off me. He was a fuck, I'd say, you fucking mingy cunt, you. It was on my ass. Give us a fucking protein every week. I said, you know, I've just won this, that, and that. You know, it's good for you, lad. And he was like, not a chance, Darren, not a chance. <laughs> you know, like that, I think you fucking twat. So anyway, Andy come round with the delivery for the gym. And I said, fuck you and your fucking sponsorship, mate. I've got blah, blah <laughs> up in blah, blah. And he's going to sponsor me. And oh, have you? Yeah. <laughs> and I went, he's fucking sound, lad. He said, he's going to sponsor me and Nathan. We've got a meeting Tuesday. He went, good luck with that, mate. You know, like that, yeah, I thought. Like he knew yeah. something. He knew something, <laughs> lad. So I goes up. So he goes, come in, lads, come in, come in. I said, all right, mate. So he goes in. He says, you want to see where where gets made? Where protein? 
<laughs> you know, on site. I said, yeah, lad, yeah, go ahead, born as fuck. Like, I just wanted to see what he was giving us. To snap a little thing. And yeah. he was made up with Nathan, you know what I mean? And he's going, I didn't really notice you, Darren, to be honest <laughs> with you. He said, when you were up on stage, he said, I didn't really take notice of the heavyweights. I said, yeah, I said, I won my class, like, yeah, we're in the universe two weeks' time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He said, let me show you around factory. So he shows us around <laughs> the factory, where the way's getting made and the vitamins and all that. He goes, see you two guys. I'd like to take you to America. I was fucking gullible as fuck, the pair of us. I said, yeah, he's fucking sound as well, isn't he, mate? He went, one thing about you, Darren. He said, I can't quite remember you. So can you strip off all your clothes, please? Are you joking? <laughs> that's not, listen, listen. One of them? Uh, yeah. So I went, I didn't know, lads, you know what I mean? I had an arse pair of skiddy oh, bills on and everything, lads. I hadn't dressed for the occasion, Frank. You know what I'm saying, lads? Uh, didn't have no ballies with me. I just had me bills on. So I said, yeah, I thought, oh, fuck off, lads. You're getting oh, sponsored here. Yeah. Get the fucking kids off me. <laughs> Get the Betty pen off for this cunt, lads. So I just went, ah, fuck it. So I stripped off and he went, so I'm like that, giving it all that to him, you know. <laughs> Fuck, couldn't get me breath, and Aiden's just laughing <laughs> still in the corner, lad. So he goes to me, Darren, can you show me some back poses, please? <laughs> oh, that one, kid. I was fucking like that to him. I was like that. Me fucking face was burning, mate. I was trying that hard, you know, tensing me ass and all that kind of thing. Woke up, you know, it was pure porn to him, lad, you know what I mean? Yeah. Trying to get me fucking shorts up the ass, you know, was, my ass was ripped and all that, and he's going, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll sponsor you as well, Darren. <laughs> anyway, thanks, thanks so much, mate. You know, thanks so much, lad. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I fucking made up, right? <laughs> I didn't know, right, what he was all about. So I comes out and I went, sounds him, innit? And he's just laughing, lad. He went, a bit weird, though, lad. The way he has you posing and all that. Kid, he was just sat behind his head, kid. Oh, I well. thought, does this room got fucking cameras in? Because I'm giving it me all here, mate, right? So it comes back down, and anyway, good enough. He sent us a load of protein, right? And he went, I'll put £250 in your account. We didn't get that, lad. Do you know what I mean? But the protein was like ciggy ash, lad. It was like drinking fucking ciggy ash out of past days. It was I, I think horrible. after time, you kind of wait. You're yeah. open, you know, it's going to be a big break in yeah, America. Yeah, I thought it was my big break, lad. So he goes yeah. like that. So Andy, the protein man, comes up. I said, he's fucking sounding, right? And he went, don't tell me. Don't tell me, Darren. He had you in his office. He said you were doing all back poses, weren't you? I went, oh, he's joking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was fucking up with all you lads. He went, does it to everyone, Darren? He's a fucking oh nuts. God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I went, fuck this thing. He had off, lad. He kept bringing us up. I went, uh, fuck that, mate. Fucking Yeah, leg, Darren has no luck with these games. <laughs> yeah. um, you see, because um, you're open, it's something's got to yeah, come out of it. Went you know, nowhere, mate. <laughs> well, a few years ago, I was still living in my mum's. This is like 30 years ago, <laughs> Peace Drive. I remember Mickey Finn, the comedian. Yeah. Good mate of mine, Mickey. He had a great sense of humour. Um, we done an audition together. It was in this hotel in Chester, and all the main agents in Liverpool were there. But TV people did come along from uh, London. It was, you know, Thames Television at the time, and the agents had already phoned me and said, Frankie, um, they were very interested in you. They thought you were young, and I was only young then, and you looked well, and yeah. so and so with any quiz shows come. So I was buzzing. I thought, you know, anyway, so I said to Mickey, Finn, I phoned him up on a Monday, and I said, Have you heard anything, Mickey? And he went, I haven't heard nothing, he said, but uh, you never know. He said, there's a lot of people here from TV, you know. He said, they were talking about you, Frank. He wasn't winding me up. He said, I heard them talking about you at the bar. I said, he's joking and all that. Anyway, so about the Thursday, my mum was downstairs. My mum was alive yeah. then. Just on her own, no one else in the house. And we only had the landline. So uh, I'm lying in the bath upstairs, just getting a bath like that. So she shouts up the stairs, Martin. My name's Martin, that's not Frankie, yeah. you know. Martin. <laughs> the phone. And I said, I'm in a bath. Sells the ring back. Anyway, five minutes later. Martin, the phone for you. I was, oh, that's so lying there like that. Ten minutes ago, by. Who is it? Come back. London Management. Now, they were, like, huge. Yeah. The biggest agency in the 80s in Britain. Could have got you on the television like that. 
I went, I'll never forget, I screamed, because I'd, I'd, I'd left him on the phone for 10 minutes. I jumped out the bath with nothing on. Fuck all. <laughs> never tried to put a towel around me, nothing. I flew down the stairs in front of me, man. Give us the phone, grab the phone. And it was Mickey Finn. And he went, did your ass go dead? <laughs> <laughs> oh, lad. I was, Mickey, I, 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 my mum run out and I was, oh, hey, mate. That's fucking sad. That's just not funny like that. I used to do that to me, mate. Yeah. Oh, you know, Barry. Yeah. And I'd phone him up and he was a, um, a gay fella. Bodybuilders full of gays. Not against the gays. Right, but he was a gay fella. We ran a magazine called The Beef. It was a oh, British God. magazine. And I always used to phone it. Give up. I go, hi, can I speak to Barry, please? <laughs> and he go, just go and get him out. I go, I'd have a month to fuck. I go, hi, Barry. It's um, Alex Mack here from Beef Magazine. <laughs> We're really interested in doing an article with you, Barry. We've been following your career. And he'd be like, yeah, yeah, um, what is it? Uh, yeah, that sounds Alex any time. <laughs> <laughs> any time that I go to him. Yes, you big cut. <laughs> <laughs> And then two lads we start screaming. But I used to wind them up all the time. What about well, that time you were telling me about Barry and yourself when you say uh, you've got a, an offer? Where's you going abroad? Both of you to compete? Oh fucking hell, mate! Oh, we just yeah. It's just, there's not much to the story to that though, Bill. To be honest, but it was yeah. it was. I can tell you more funny stories than that. That was just like where we said what it was. We both want to show the UK, and um. This fella come up and I was only a kid and he said, um, we'd like you and Barry to represent us in Mr. World. Okay. So he said, yeah, all right, mate. And it was about May, but we'd been on a long diet. Do you yeah. know, we'd been on a diet yeah. since fucking January, me and him. And he won his class, I won my class and then Barry won the overall. So he said, we're going to pay for Barry. And then he said, we'll pay for you. Right. So I said, oh, all right, mate. So he goes in. Um, yeah. So all the other competitors are paying. But you are going free because you know we think you've got a chance, whatever, in winning this thing. So we said, "All right, so fuck him." It was the, that show must have been that was in May, but the other show went to July, lads, and we just ended up fucking scranning like fuck. We ended up scranning loads, and we ended up two big puddings. But every week he get on the phone to the gym and he go, "Hello, Darren." He said, "Um, how are you looking, pal?" <laughs> And I'd say, I'm fucking ripped, lad. Ah! <laughs> you know, uh, I'd say to Barry, oh, you're going to do the country proud, aren't you, lads? Can't wait to meet you. You know, we, we'll all meet up at Manchester Airport, get there a bit early, we'll have breakfast, <laughs> then straight on the flight to Portugal. Got all your digs sorted out and your food. He said, um, you got your in with a good chance to bury you. You know, hope to see you soon. And every week he'd drink up this year and he'd go, what are you looking like? What are you Because like? honest to God, they're all fucking, they're, they're all got a little bit of bar them, some of these fans. Some of them don't even fucking train who run these organisations. And then he go, what are you looking like? What are you looking like? It was like fucking Jim. What was it called? Jim <laughs> oh, yeah. What are you looking like? What are you looking like? Bullseye. Fucking rip lad. Anyway, mate, they come to the day of meeting him. And we were a bass fucking. Big, two big fucking effers, you know what I mean? We had no had no intention. We should have just told the fella at the beginning, we're not going, do you know what I mean? And at the, some kid I knew went to me. Hey, lad, he said, um, that fucking fella, he said, um, what happened was, we got to Manchester and he was going, they'll be here in a minute, they'll be here in a minute, the lads, they'll be here. And he's like, fucking hell, where are they, where are they, where are they you know? Looking at his watch, this kid said he was fucking fuming. I can't believe this let us down. I can't believe it, you know what I mean? I can't believe it. And what happened was, they tried to even hold the plane up for us, you know yeah. what I mean? And we never come, we both got a lifetime ban, that. Oh, <laughs> but that was just fucking, that was not really a story, it was just fucking stories, something that happened, yeah. you know what I mean? But what happened to Have I Got News For You? We fucked that right off, didn't we? I oh, know, I don't know <laughs> where we were going, we were supposed to be doing the Olympics. Yeah, the Olympics went out gone. the window, didn't we? Went out the window, but it never went mind. Out the We've got funny stories between ourselves. I was just thinking about, when I first started working at clubs, I was living in Wavertree, and... Uh, an agent rang me nine o'clock at night. I said, Frankie, and I didn't have any money, but I, can you get up to Barrow and Furnace? The comedian hasn't turned up. Yeah. Now it's a two hour drive, you know. I went, fuck, I can get there, but can you tell Did he pay your petrol and that? And that oh, yeah, he pay you yeah. when you get there. But this is a funny thing. I said, okay, got in this little car, little Illman Empire. I flew up there, took me an hour and three quarters, ran into this club. The crowd was still there. 
fellas, you know, oh, you better get on, you better get on right now, go on now, go on now. <laughs> I went, all right, so I ran on. And he went telling jokes, the sweat pouring off me. Nothing, no laughs. It's going to be the way. Horrible. Country, wasn't it? Crowd. And yeah. They were all like blue then sold people, yeah. you know. Yeah. Like, but I could hear little comments and I could hear this woman going, absolute rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> Where did they get him in from? And I heard this fellow go, no, the real comedian didn't turn up. <laughs> and I said, for fuck's sake. Anyway, I'm dying on me fucking ass. <laughs> Anyway, I'm carrying on. I'm, any uh, Liverpool fan, any man, nothing. Just like chalking to that table, nothing at all. <laughs> and here this fella says, Why doesn't he work off? He's absolute trash. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, anyway, it's oh, no. Anyway, so finished. Me and the gone. Bounced stuck together, you know, all dry and sweating and no shirts on and all that. Fella comes in to me and goes, Yes, he says, <laughs> You're the worst comedian <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> and I'm not paying you penny. <laughs> so I was, I was, I was only young then. I said, Listen, la, you're, you're fucking paying me. <laughs> so I borrowed 20 dabs off me, man, petzel and not even dabs. You know what he told yeah. I said, Listen, you've got to fucking pay me. I'm getting paid tonight. Anyway, he goes, I'm not paying you. So I lost it, you know. <laughs> and you'll pay me. <laughs> so give him his due. It's about 70 he went, roll this <laughs> thing. <up here. laughs> You're not getting paid. Or if you want to, I'll accommodate you. It started going like that. I'll, I'll accommodate you. you. <laughs> anyway, in the end, they got 50 quid off of me. So I'll give you a petrol. And man, and he says something funny about her. You know, as much as mocking Mark, you know the way he talk. <laughs> I'll give you a petrol money, but much as Mark, and you, you'd best leave here. <laughs> you know, get out the back way. He said, a, a, a wings, something about her. Fear will lend wings to your feet. Or something. You know, all sort of riddles and all that. What are you fucking on about? So anyway, this big fella at the bar. Yeah. I went to the bar, and even though I was mega embarrassed and I died and everything, yeah. my mouth was gone. So, uh, I had to get a thing, so says, give us a glass of Coke. Oh, the embarrassment, people are staring at me. Yeah. There's this big fella, the bar, he was like, he was yeah. a big lad, you know. And he went to me, he turned around, he went, you would have not spoken to me like that, like you spoke to Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Very disrespectful. <laughs> I was. Mm. He said, <laughs> you all think you're tough where you're from, he says, you don't come up here, Chan, it's on. He said, I've got a good mantle leather you. <laughs> I, I thought I was going to get a set of lime here. <laughs> anyway, so I went, give us that coke. So the next thing he went, so that's it now, you're away. You think you've got away with it? <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm just going home, mate. I just want to get home. So I'm walking down the stairs and I heard them walking behind me. <laughs> so walking, and you know the way we're quick, how we scouts yeah. as we think on our you know, feet. I thought, no, I won't make it to my car. He's gonna bang. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be gone and all that. So we're sitting around and it's st- honest to God, my bottle went to size him like that. So he goes and he's looking at me like that. And I said, Listen, uh, my bear died the other night, <laughs> two days ago. I know I was rubbish tonight. I'm getting myself together. So we got, Oh, why did you not say, Frankie? <laughs> Why did you not say that you were bereaved? <laughs> oh, he says, a bereavement puts a different light on it. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure Tommy will understand. <laughs> oh, he said, and you were no good, you were rubbish, and no wonder it's brought out aggression in you because yeah. you, you can't understand why it's happened to you. <laughs> and you've come up here like an old soldier, he said, <laughs> while your wife's lying in a coffin. <laughs> oh, he says... Come back in and have a drink. I said, all right. So as he's walking back into the club, I jumped in my car and I drove right down. And I went like that with a window and I went, hey, you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, you big soft cons. 
I'm back here next week. You're going. That little twat's going. <laughs> I'll bring a hundred fellas and all that. Your knees are going. And then he, when he, he, he went, oh, oh, he'd be like, oh, he'd be like, they'd be blagging him. So he runs after the car. Yeah. So I'm in his car. The next thing, it stalls. So he jumps on the, on, on, on the boot. And he's on the boot. And as I'm driving away, he's going, <laughs> I'll kill you! I'll kill you! I'll thump in, he said. I'll thump and kill you. <laughs> anyway, I drove down this one way. He fell off. Saw this copper. Ran right up to the copper. And stood by him like that, shaking like fuck, you know. So it just shows you the things that can yeah, happen to you. Yeah, yeah. Situations. Yeah. No, I laugh. No, I laugh. It's... I, I don't thought know where it's gone, lads. I, 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 yeah, I don't know. So it's I, gone out the wind, I had a, I had a little go at comedy once. Right, I did. And um, I've done really well in this year in the UK convention. Fucking deaf school, lads. No, <laughs> no, seriously, I've done really well. I was yeah. in, um, I was on stage, thousands of people were there. The mic, the, the, people can vouch for this. And I had them, I had, I had, I had everyone in stitches. And I thought, that's it, I've made it as a comedian, right? Just it was just a um, it was a convention, and he asked me. What did you go? Knock, knock, no, 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 no. <laughs> just, just sold so it. Few lights, then last. Look when I'm on a roll. <laughs> right, I know when I'm on a roll, I can get them going. Yeah, right, so forth. So I'll sell them a few lights. Where's this roll coming? A few, <laughs> a few lived experiences, and I can share a few things. But I thought I'll try it in Liverpool. You got a good reaction, Bill? No, one of the lads. One of the, yeah, one of the lads phoned me up and went, "Look, Bill, can you come down a brink? Right, this is a, a local fucking pub thing that was in a like a recovery bar." Non alcoholic, so I thought it's okay. He said, I'll give, give it a Sounds go. Sounds like a fucking good night. Well, it was, right? Non so, alcoholic, I wouldn't have been there, uh, Right, it that. was if you, if you weren't thinking. So I went down, thought this is hell, I'll smash this, you know what I mean? I'm taking confidence. On a stage, and like yourself, Frankie, didn't get a fucking laugh, right? It was full of like dots and emos, right? All standing there in black. Okay, so like, just like a I scene out like it. it was look, it, was look, it looked like a scene. It looked like a scene out the Matrix, right? It was standing there thinking, Selling and mission, and selling no arms. No, no, but seriously, right? And what am I? I'm just identifying with Frankie. I know how it feels when you don't get a raise, and, and and the shame, right? And the embarrassment that's going it on. You think, hard, it is horrible. It's... And I was like, Fuck, he's not one of the tactics, don't you? The thing, you know, I'm trying to do sometimes some... when I'm saying to clients, I've had a fucking you know, a few, and like, I'm bit of he'll tell you, I'm always a clown, lad. What you see now is what I am, it's not yeah. an act. Do you know what I mean? I'm a fucking clown, mate. And then what it gets so someone will do the set, and then in between sets, you've got to talk to your client. You can't just wait a minute and just fucking look at the ceiling. So you can And I find some clients are really Bad hard work, to yeah. fucking talk to when you think people oh, are weird. This this some people are very day, difficult. Mate. Yeah. You know, and you know the way people say, I mean, again, you've got to be careful what you say about people all over the UK. There are places. I'm not going to name them, yeah. where they're slower than other places mentally, you know, they really yeah. are. The cities mm. are very quick, you know. Yeah. You tell a joke, they laugh, stays away. But I've been to some places where you're still, you're waiting for the laugh 10 minutes later. Well, I mean, it's, yeah. just, it's just a way of life. They're kind of like... Yeah. I went to this place once in, in North Yorkshire and I got there early and I'll never forget, I was on 80 quid and that was a lot of money then, you know, big money. And I walked in and this fellow come up to me and... Are you a comedian? I said, yeah. He said, oh, you're nice and early. Mm -hmm. About six o'clock, but I wanted to make sure I was there, get paid and everything. He went, right, he said, girl, how long do you do? And I said, well, you know, about half an hour. But I knew then you're supposed to be doing an hour on the stage. I said, can I do about an hour or 40 minutes? Right. Can you do about 35 minutes? <laughs> I went, yeah, okay, I'll do 35. Will you give me, I'll give you a wave after 35. I said, oh, great, you know. <laughs> so I said to him, are you the secretary of the club, mate? I'm Frankie Allen, you know. Oh, no, I'm not the secretary. I said, either compare the MC. Oh, no. I said, you're on the committee? What's, he said, oh, no, he said, I'm the pieman. <laughs> I said, what? Oh, no, Frankie, come here a minute. So behind the bar, he had a great big glass oven. He says, they love the pies, pasties and black pudding here, Frankie. <laughs> We've had some turns on here. He said, they've gone on nine o'clock. I've <laughs> left, <laughs> I've left, you know, pies in the oven. I've left them, you know, on low light. 
They've walked off because they've died. <laughs> <laughs> They're queuing up for pies. I get it in the neck, Frankie, when pies are fucking freezing. <laughs> I said, okay, what's over to do? You go on at nine o'clock. I'll leave pies on Gas Mark 3. <laughs> <laughs> if you're doing well, turn it down a bit. <laughs> he says, I said, well, if I'm dying and I'm only messing like yeah. taking the piss, switch it right up. <laughs> Good idea. I'll put you right up. <laughs> anyway, darling, you've seen nothing like it in your life. I went out. I thought I'd seen it all. This bird came in with a wedding dress. I thought, because there's no, head, no headgear or wedding dress and two of the bridesmaids. She's just been married that day. Yeah. Sitting at the front. Fuck a big bottle of Guinness drinking out of a bottle yeah. like that. I went on. Telling jokes, nothing again. This fella walked past, fucking big ears. I said, fucking hell, mate. You can fly to me York with those ears. <laughs> anyway, the next thing, like a bomb going off all in bulk, screaming. Fella stands up and he goes, it took the piss out of David. <laughs> I went, so what's happening here? And then this beard with the bottle goes, he's my uncle. <laughs> Fucking hell. So we told another joke. Nothing. No laughter. <laughs> <laughs> so the next thing is, this dick had at the bar with the big ears. <laughs> I was, uh, Davies still at the bar. <laughs> Screaming like that, Davies at the bar. So I just kept referring to this Davy. The next thing is, fella goes like that. <laughs> <laughs> the oven. <laughs> Came off stage. Fuck a big paper plate, sausage rolls, black pudding and all that. Oh, you've never seen nothing like it in your life. <laughs> big, huge queue, in the, you know, for the pies and yeah. pasties. So I went, uh, that was fucking, you know, come off. The fella paid me. And he said, you've done very well tonight, Frankie, very well. We want you to come back here. He says, you're the first man. <laughs> <laughs> the first man, he said, that's coming to this county. He said, that's took the piss out of it. <laughs> I said, what is this? Oh, oh, nobody crosses Eddie. And he was just a dickhead, you know. Yeah. Who's Eddie? This fucking fellow with the big ears. Isn't that safe? Oh, Davies, oh, yeah, should yeah. say, whatever his fucking name was. <laughs> so as I'm walking out, the fellow who had the glass oven behind him, oh, he ran over to me and said, Frankie, thank you so much. It's all done to a turn. <laughs> <laughs> But this is what I mean. This was only twenty years ago. Yeah. You can't believe it. It's like watching a movie, innit? Yeah. Like the hills have eyes. Yeah. So let's get back to well, the some topic. people are like that. Let's get back the to the Olympic topic. Games. <laughs> yeah. oh, and right. it's time to wash up. What's what's um, what have you seen in the news this week? That's uh, Afghanistan. Like. Afghan. So it was on the news this morning. Twenty thousand Afghans coming into the UK. That's a big one, isn't it? I've got a mate so, who's out there now. You got it? Yeah. Where in ran, Afghanistan? Yeah, in Kabul. I rang him and I said, what's it like? He said, Frankie, I can't get BBC One or Granada. I can't even get fucking Sky. I said, why? He said, the Taliban. Lad, you know that's not asking me on it. Serious <laughs> questions <laughs> about Afghanistan and that <laughs> It's going on its arse, lad. You'll have been loud and outside, making all his troops. You wouldn't want to be there, Frank. would you? you no, it's there. fucking heavy. She, you know? she, what they were doing there, clients. How, what, what, what's going through your mind, right? Seriously, when you're trying to hang on to a fucking jet plane. Oh, it's heavy, lad, isn't it? You know what I mean? Oh, and you can see it, can't you? You can yeah, see what the they're doing. It's, it right. must be that the desperation that's going on. It's heavy, mate. You know, you look around the world and you go, we're lucky in this country. We're just the first country in the world, you know, that's kind of gone back to normal. Everywhere else is still yeah. in lockdown. But do you think we're going to get another lockdown again? I don't know. I don't you can't so, say, no, though, can, can we? I, I, think I don't think they will, only yeah. because I think they've realised the last one, people have just had enough. Yeah. It? So we've had what, one, two, then three lockdowns, and then I think after the first one, I, I, the first lockdown, I'm going to be straight... You know, I was dead vigilant. He had the gloves on, the mask on. I, I wouldn't go near no one, mate. I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go near. Yeah, but you. I was bleaching. Kid, I was you? yeah. You know I was bleaching mean? everything, and I, I was like, get away. It was like I, I was like like going down the supermarkets, and I had I was going for it. You know what I mean? And then the second one, I was like a little bit more. Hang on a minute. The third one, I think I'm everyone's realised enough for all this type of conversation, though, lads. You know where people go, like people in in here and that, and they're going to me. Um, you know, have you watched YouTube, lad? Conspiracy. No, lad, 
you know, what are that fucking family called in America? I'm thick as fuck, lad. What are they called? The Rothschilds. And you know that Rothschild? And I'm like, oh, lad, send it in with the Rothschild shouts. I haven't got a clue about it. She, da- she, she, she YouTubes like a rabbit hole for conspiracies, isn't it, really? See, you've got to be careful about what you watch, what information you're conveying back to yeah. yourself, what you're going to try and share with others, because it's, it's, it's YouTube, isn't it? I mean, some people... I saw a fellow in the garage, it was only about three weeks ago. He had this orange jumpsuit on, a mask, a pair of glasses, you know, those plastic vines? Yeah. Like a spaceman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn, I can't help myself sometimes. So I just said to him, What's your fucking game, mate? Yeah. <laughs> and he went, I don't want to die, mate. Oh, it's insane, man. No, it's like it's, it's them not... people who've got the mass on driving in the car oh, and they're on the road. Fuck it. Yeah. What the fuck's that? The taxi about, drivers yeah. with the masks on, and there's no one else in the no cab. cab in yeah. No, but you get normal people still now driving round in their own car. Hell, mate, a See, what was big in the news before the lockdown, and we all know this to be true, was Brexit, weren't it? Yeah. Brexit was like, it was non-stop, it's on the telly constantly. You don't hear nothing now, nothing at all. Right, so it used to be like, I used to sit there and I was banged up in there in Walton, there was this kid from Lithuania, and every morning he used to go, do you think we'll stay in the breakfast or we'll leave the breakfast? And I was like, yeah. yeah, so I was like, uh, I haven't got a fucking clue. You know, it's, 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 it, it, it was just, it was Piers Morgan, wasn't it? Yeah. Every morning. Piers Morgan on the Brexit. Piers Morgan on, um, he was going on about uh, the corona stuff and that. Now he's gone. He was like a bit of an entertainer when it comes to TV, wasn't it? Well, it's, I seen, right, that someone broke a world record and he balanced a hundred, I'll put it, put it up, I'll send you it, 120 bog rolls on the net. Go on. No. That, I mean, that, is, yeah. is, is that a world record? Did it give us book a world, world record? Guinness book a world record. And, and that was in the news this week. It was in the news yesterday, and he balanced 120 bog rolls on his head in like your pyramid. How does that start? How did he? How did he start doing that? Did he have one bog roll? And then he went to his bed, throws another one here, like you know, she's laughing and all that. And then he got three, and he went, fuck it, split that how family back. How do these people do it? How did he achieve it? Know, like, we see these people with head. coins, one on top yeah. of the other. Yeah. How did he get the balance? You just can't, don't, I can't get my head round it. And you don't get fuck all for getting a no, Guinness Book of World Records. Just so you can see your name yeah. in the Guinness Book of Records. My uncle's in the Guinness Book of Records, right? Yeah. For having uh, two sets of twins born on the same day, four years apart. Boy, girl, boy, girl, and both of the girls are partially deaf. Go wow. away. Oh, yeah, serious. That's so. That season, he's in the Guinness Book of Records, Book of records. because who has, who has, who has, right? Two sets of twins born on the same day, four years apart. It past. is a miracle, really. It is. It's, it's yeah. quite odd, isn't it? Right. I also seen on the news this morning, Nico. Uh, Muhammad is it? Muhammad Ali's nephew, grand grandson. Okay, I thought you meant right. Steven Seagal. No, Nico. His name is <laughs> Nico. So Nico. Muhammad like Ali, movie, Muhammad yeah. Ali's grandson, yeah. won his first professional debut fight. This, really? Right, within seventy seconds. Now you're fighting a journeyman, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Your first fight, it's 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 bad for you. So, you know, but they made big news about it. It's well, Muhammad course, Ali. Yeah. It's uh, are you gonna are you gonna tread in your father's footsteps? Footsteps. Unlikely, you know what I mean? But he was the greatest, he was the greatest, and who knows? Do you think he I was mean, better than Tyson? Who? Muhammad? Well, Muhammad Ali. She oh, writes, I, I, I think, I'd, I'd say, I'd say Muhammad was faster and more flowing. Right, he was, he was quick. Where Tyson's like, he's like a tank, isn't he? He was like a tank. Who would you rather fight? I'd rather get fucked off Ali than get fucked well, off. Well, Tyson Ali. was known yeah. for knocking people out. Yeah. And Ali was known for like, like winning I long distance. Be. Right, so, right, Frankie. Darren, right, we would stop it for the week that we just got really riled off ski. Yeah, a lot of it got x rated that we laughed the cup out, lads. There's loads, yeah, the bend. There's lo- look, there's loads of uh, behind the scenes there that would love to share with you and have you on the floor. We would have loved to have the last 10 15 minutes. I mean, if it would have gone out, we'd be coming up in the old right. Bailey yeah, yeah, on our way to Bell Marsh. Right. Viral, though, okay, yeah, right, so what, say, what's the difference, right? See, now, I did not know much about podcasting, right, yeah. until, uh, say, last year. So, yeah. so I've introduced myself to it as well, and, I, and I've come along, and I, and I don't want to, I, I, I can. And, I, and I, you learn your audience, you learn about your audience as you, you put your, your material out there, you know what they like. So I look at something and go, okay, that's getting views, and that's not getting as many views as I thought it should have. And it's a great story, yeah. that, but it's I not. I think I See, there's some really good stories, yeah. and you think, that, that, 
why aren't people listening to that? Okay, so I'll throw Darren on, and I'll throw Frankie on, and I'll throw a few, a few of the lads on, and they love it. So bang, they're up there. Big, big numbers. And I think, okay, so what can we do here? What can we do? The people out there who were watching this, and a thanks to you guys for subscribing, who were watching this, right, love this kind of material. It's real. It's authentic. We're being transparent. We're not lying. We're just having a laugh. And that's what it's about. We don't want to be talking about what we've got or what we haven't got and big grandiose stories about who we've done in and who we haven't done in. And, you know, that's just bullshit. You know that and you know that. Uh, and I, that's why I like the fact that Alan's here. He's very raw. We know that. Don't we? <laughs> like most of us, I'll never get monetized. I'll never get monetized on um, on any of this stuff. Yeah, but people like his style. It is. You know, it's a style show. It's, it's not a... Is it, you can call it a style, but just I'm just you, it's just you. Yourself, you know, you're being that, yourself, like, yeah. Different from out of here than I am. From no, but you're a character, the one you are a character. Yeah, so people fucking yeah. you're, 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 you're a character, and I, read, and I read one of the comments, and it said, Darren Schmidt can read the Argos catalogue, and it'll be funny, you know. Well, well, people say it, and people must. Frankie, no, I'm just here as one of the lads to have a laugh. We, you know, we're all different, we're all different characters. I used to have a window cleaner. And uh, when I was in Waves, he'd come in the house, uh, even like in front of kids, oh, the language out of him was terrible. But he was so funny with it, he didn't, I was going, fuck it, I'll just fuck it, oh, so, sorry, sorry. Then he starts again, I said to his twat, I'll fuck it, kill you, cut him off, oh, oh, sorry, sorry. You know what I mean? And in the end, he didn't laugh, and he just couldn't help himself. He was just a character in his own right, you know what I mean? Right, I was in school, we used to go to Colin Menzies, yeah. like, we had these teachers like now. We, I was only young and um, you know we never had much but we went we mum done up the best she could seven and a half quid it was to go yeah, yeah it was, it was a, Mendy, yeah, yeah so we used quid. to go and I think was it was it was it a weekend or a week I can't a week, remember week, Bill, a week. Mom, it was a week yeah, yeah. yeah so this she said and I remember him saying and I wrote about this in my second story yeah. because it, it kind of like kept springing back to my mind about like what it was like growing up in school because you had to reflect on on that, that time and I remember the teacher saying she was right no, it's very unhygienic if you used to go to bed with your underwear on. I don't know. Only kids, you don't you just listen, don't you? Oh, yeah. So I'm thinking, all right, no no big deal. I've got a pair of pants on there. All the lads have got pajama pants. But all the girls never they all had nighties on, right? So what happened? No, this is what happened, right? You had to shitting in a circle while he was in the middle on a chair, reading the bedtime story. This was the plan. We all had a little cocoa, a little bit of chocolate, and I was sitting there and I'm I'm shitting and I'm, you're nude. I'm not in the nude, no, I'm in my pyjamas, oh. but I've got no wonders on, because I think this is what he said, you know, so 19, but I'm looking straight across at some bear, Mary or Ellen, whatever the name was, right? Oh, mate, I can see right up here, 19, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, I'm only about yeah. seven years old at the time, but I didn't think much of it back then, but you know when you're going forward, yeah, right, yeah, you yeah. think, fucking bacon him. He was a bad bacon him, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, got away, yeah. got away with me. The name at school. We used to get the cane. We used to have this this teacher mm -hmm. used to pinch your ass, right? Whack you know with with a cane. Me ma used to get the cane for me ma. Took me to school once because I loved the bag of soldiers off the market, right? Yeah. Totally had my stem, Mister Connor, right? And he walloped me right four times with his cane. He used to have these I stickers on them. Smack like right, shoe on that hand. You only used to get it once. Change them on you, Frankie. Yeah. You get it once. Heavy. You get it once, and that was enough. I got it four times. Mm. And he screams, and then he pinched me ass because we used to have these shorts on. I used to pinch it and go. He used to. He looked like. He looked like. Do you know where? Um, Dracula. Yeah. What was his name? Fucking Cow piece of piece of fucking Harry McCushion. Piece of cushion, right? Yeah. He was a ringer for him, and he was frightening. And I was like, "Oh, mate, that's just the kind of like growing up I did, you know, with yeah. um, the things that I saw." And as yes, you get older, you think, "How could you subject kids but to that type of stuff?" But them fucking were bastards, though, lad. What they used to do. They, we can't, we can't pigeon all. We can't pigeon all, all please, can we? No. In a sense. I'm not pigeon them all, but I'm saying what they used to do, right? Some if of them used to work. Been, can, they can ones that have been convicted then. Yeah. If you used to work on a Friday night, yeah. Say you got paid on a Friday, lad, right? Yeah. That priest used to come round your ken. My nana told me, right? Oh, I remember. Listen, and he'd knock on the door, knowing you're all got your wages yeah. on a Friday. Well, but a couple of quid, yeah. Yeah. And if you didn't give him the couple of quid. Lad, go shame you and shame you That's shame crazy. you in church it's that all about mate oh. and they'd be hiding behind couches and doors yeah. from them 
fuck. Because we, yeah, because we grew up in a different era. <laughs> do, do you remember, like we, you know, you used to have to there, uh, used to get the loans. You frightened of them, lad. Yeah. Remember they used to come round. What, what used to call it? The, the provy. The provy. Remember the provy used to come man. round. The provy. Uh, my my used to ride us all oh, behind a chauffeur. Oh, I remember she um, she had the police round once, right? I'll tell you the story. She won't mind because it's it's years ago now. I think she was skin since you'll understand this. But um, we got broken into right our house. We lived in Speak, Little Leaf Road, and the house got broken into. And uh, the video had been taken. It was a top loader. You know what I'll be to Max. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and uh, everyone was devastated. My dad was gone oh, because my dad loved all his movies on that. He had a remote control on a, on a, on a rope. But when my half fell at the, uh, it's on the place, he's coming and questioning him. And I'm and upstairs. Videos, though, you know, back in the day, we robbed Rumbelows. Yeah. My man and Zara had Rumbelows. Cool, what did you do? Used to get a video on strap. Yeah. And it was 14 quid with a telly. Huh. And then you just moved, Ken. Yeah. And videos then were 800 quid. Well, no, what quid. me, what, what me half, yeah, they were, they were expensive. Oh, they were. No, lad. 800 quid. Well, what me, what me, what me, what um, I'd climbed in the loft, right? I'd climbed in the loft, right? And there's that video there. And the busies have just left. But I'm jumping down now. Mom, Mom, it's there, it's sound, I found it. Oh. It's upstairs. It's in the attic. I mean, I fell scream, shut up. But I didn't think yeah. that they were fucking robbing the fucking rumbleos. You know what I mean? Or whatever you well, did. I put me phone in. I work with some Jewish kid. Me, 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 me. It's dead, dead by the way, so you can't convict him. Right, so I was um, working in that fucking big tent, remember years ago, when before they had the echo, and I worked in there, and he was some Jewish kid, worked with us on the front, and he said, um, I said, oh, you know, he's going on about like his dad, um, Marks and Spencers, and he made underwear, he was fucking loaded. Do you know what his job was? What he done? He was a race car driver. Oh, so he done the Oast, the Oaston, at this summer pops thing, and me, me, mates are working him. I said, oh, was that what you've always done that? And he went, um, no, he said, um, my dad, he said, um, we actually ran Rumbelows. He said, oh, I robbed the fucking, I said, we robbed the telly. <laughs> <laughs> he went, it was people like you who got my dad made, um, what was it, fucking? Redundant. 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 Because the camera's just cut out yeah. there. Right. It's been great to have you on, Frankie. Right. It's been fantastic. It's totally enjoyed it. Yeah. And, uh, and it's always, always, always good to have Darren on. You know what I mean? Of course. He's great. And we'll have to, we'll just have to go on a television on, uh, what do they call it? The, uh, do you have those shows don't you, where everything cuts out? <laughs> yeah. You show the clips. Yeah. You show the clips. You can't even show yeah. the clips. Can't can even. Make... Love to show the clips. People, are, it's terrible. People will be screaming and laughing. <laughs> be fantastic. <laughs> Get a million views. But we just can't show it. Yeah, we oh, we can. went round a bend, didn't it? But with that, thank you very much for watching. Should leave this podcast <laughs> to them there. It's made yeah. down and run. Oh, we'll lads. just leave it to them, lads. <laughs> oh. It's few backers and yeah. So, yeah, leave it at that. Anyway, thank you for watching. Take care. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Hello everybody, if you love the channel and you'd like to support it, there's a link below where you can buy us a coffee. I'll be bringing you banter, laughter and we've got more news for you coming soon.